Hey, how is everybody doing right now? Today I'll be teaching you guys how to fix this type of warning inside Pro. So warning in uniform member load item F3 not provided for member for a certain member at a certain load case F3. This type of warning occurs when we are using uniform load to any of the elements in our structural model. So commonly nangyari to sa uniform force. Now, this type of error should not happen if you have used the UI of STAD alone. But if you have modified the information of your model using the command file, this type of warning may occur from time to time. So, ang sinasabi ko dito is kapag kasi naglagay tayo ng additional siguro na uniform load dito sa element. Let me just add some uniform load and let me provide some arbitrary val values here. So let me just place negative 5 for W1. And then D1, siguro 3. I want D1 to be 3 meters from the start of the node. And I'll just leave D2 and D3 as 0. So if I click add, what happens is it's the UI is warning me that D1 should be smaller than D2. So ganyan dapat usually. So let me just close this warning and close the add item for now. I'm not, I'm not going to add any uh, information there. So balik tayo dun sa previous na load case natin dito. But as you can see, I was allowed to have a, an input like this. So D3 or I mean D1 is greater than D2. So hindi natin to ma-achieve kapag yung UI yung ginamit natin. Rather... Um, it can only be created by directly providing information on your Stad Pro Editor or Command Line Editor. So, dito, ito yung ating F1. I sorry, in the uh, W1, I mean, ito yung D1. And the rest, zero sila. So, walang nakalagay na information. So, pag ginawa natin to sa uh, Command Line, okay lang. Kasi hindi siya mag magkakaroon ng warning. If you close this, uh, internally, it's still accepting the input that we have provided. So, um, further explanation is, yung internal kasi na working ng STAD, it's, uh, if you're going to look at the documentation, F1 is equal to uh, W1, D1 is equal to, or sorry, F2, right? So, F2 is equal to W2, and then F3 pertains to D2. And then, um, F4 is the value for D3, which is the eccentric distance of the loading, of the uniform load. Now with that, ibig sabihin yung F3 na warning kanina was due to yung presence or yung, uh, yung value ng D2. So, ito daw, ito daw yung may warning. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng warning? Let me just open the command or the output for now and then basahin natin. So, sabi niya dito, wala daw pre-novide. So, warning, in uniform load, item F3, not provided. There are no input for F3. Or, essentially, parang zero yung nilagay natin. So, what the the software what the software did was to assume a value. So, ang ginawa niya, in niya na yung F3, or in this case, yung D2, equal siya sa length ng so in assume na na yung value ng F3 is the the length of the member itself so if that's your intention then that would be okay so you can ignore this warning so pag ang gusto mo is so that your load is applied 3 inches from the start of the the beam so ito yung start and then it would end until the, the the length of the element itself, which is in this case 20 meters. Then you can just continue with your modeling and you can just ignore the warning. Or better yet, instead of doing this, having D2 as 0, you can provide the total length of the beam itself. So we modify lang natin. Okay. And then close. And then we go and run the analysis and check if there are... Uh, warnings that has remained from yung original na warnings natin. Ngayon nawala na siya because we have already fixed this, the problem with yung input natin dito. Or sometimes kapag ang nangyari, I mean nangyari na baliktad yung ating input, there might be some mistakes doon sa ginawa natin sa command. We might have mistakenly placed the input such that yung dito natin zero. Baka naman pala baliktad. Baka your intention was ang start mo is yung sa start ng node. And then, yung load mo will end at 3, three inches. So, pag natin to, 
And then, we look at the visualization for the loading. Baka naman, yung actual intention mo, ganito dapat yung application ng load. The warning is there to give us a hint na, hey, I have provided something that is not uh, making sense. So, ang ginawa namin, uh, nag-assume kami ng values. Yeah. With that warning, you'll have to check kung tama ba talaga yung mga distances na linagay mo dun sa, sa structure. But, uh, like I said, if your re real intention was to apply the loading from 3 meters until 20 meters, then you can just ignore the warning. Okay? So, I guess yun lamang for, uh, let me discuss some other uh, warnings sa mga susunod na mga videos.